Good morning, everybody. I thought I'd fill a little gap this morning as the lovely Karen is on holiday, a very well-deserved holiday. Um, happy birthday for yesterday. I thought I'd come on and pack the few bits I've got. I've done, I did do some packing last night. But I thought, well, I might as well come on, have a little chat, see who's about, if you're bored, and pack the rest of my stuff. I'm hoping a couple of the other cellar ladies are going to join me soon. Uh, I'll just wait a minute and see if anybody comes in. Because at the minute it says nothing. Hopefully someone can tell me if I'm live. I'm hoping I am. I scheduled it. it says I've got one person watching. Oh, six. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Great, I'll get started then. Good morning, Just Me, Bumblebee and RJ. As I said, hopefully some more people will join. I didn't broadcast that I was coming on. Probably should have done. Yes, I'm live. Excellent. Right, first I'll show you. This is getting picked up this afternoon. It's a massive, well, not massive, but heavy. It's three cine cams that I sold over the weekend. Um, didn't get much really, but I mean, they're not worth a lot really. Um, it was, hi Kath, hi Becca. Um, it was an old, they're all vintage, a Super 8. Um, I can't remember what the other one is. I'm not very good, am I? A Boops one. Anyway, um, I think I got 1650 plus 750 postage. So at least they're out the door. It's a big box. Um, it's three three point something kilo so that's getting picked up this afternoon what was that sorry yes more cameras going what i'm going to do probably is the few bits that are left i'm just going to bundle them all together and just do a big lot um i've got a kodak lot that's got quite a few watches so i'm hoping that's going to sell soon and um yeah everything else that's left I'm just going to bundle together. So, right, a couple of others that I can't really show. This is just a new shirt that I sold um, from the men's um, haul that I got. So that's that's ready to go. I'll just do the postage for that actually. Now, is there a way that you can pop out the screen, or am I going to have to sign in? I didn't think this through, did I? Probably should have opened Streamyard. In my, I've got two two things open I wonder if my live will show up on there and then I can see the chat when I'm doing my postage um, let's have a look sorry I've been quite absent recently but I my computer died oh there's Sam let's Sam in hi good morning are we live or are we just yes. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I thought I didn't. Whoever's in, oh, I hate. Do I have to keep moving my um, my laptop when yeah. we're on different? If you if, if you're just on YouTube, it's different. But when you're on Streamyard, it's sort of like mm -hmm. it's weird. Well, I've I've stood up and raised the camera because my room is such a mess. I'm just too embarrassed. So I've raised the camera so you can just see the edges of the mess. <laughs> I'm just trying to find the chat on 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 uh, YouTube so that I can uh, oh, okay. do my postage. Oh, there we go. So if I go in there, oh, I can see it now. Right. So me I'll open that. Just me, Bumblebee, RJ, uh, Kath, Becca in the chat so hi good morning everybody sorry i probably should have put it on uh on instagram or something to say i was going live but it was just a last minute decision because we thought shelly was going to go on but it, it's half term isn't it so that's probably why it? she hasn't yeah, i don't really know now because mine have grown up and left school so and yeah. college and stuff so i don't really keep up to, to date with it i thought the traffic was quiet on the road actually this morning because um I've only just got home. I was at my partner's last night. But look what I've done. Oh, no. I bought this in a shop the other day. It was only a pound. It's a, a German um, planter. Oh, no. 
apartment. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I drop my, I have it down the side of me here, uh, ready to list it. And I had a cup of, of coffee and I've knocked the cup off, smashed the cup. Oh, no. And smashed the planter. Is it worth much? No, I only paid a pound for it, but it, I, I, I was hoping to get about 15 quid for it. But Just think of the pound. And not yeah, it was only a pound, so that'll have to go in the bin, along with my um, Disney cup as well. Oh, that's a shame. Um, yeah. So. Morning, Louise. Right, I've got the chat up, so now I can do. My... Oh, Louise, how are you feeling, Louise? Uh, I believe you wasn't. You've not been very well. All right. Yeah, I think it's had a bit of a cold and stuff. So, don't vote for Trump. We are not a political <laughs> organization. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he, is he up for election or something again? I don't I really, know. But... I really, I should put that on my on my YouTube thing. I don't like talking about religion or politics. So mm. if you've got anything of that to say, you're in the wrong place. Yeah, it's just it's not. Uh, they're too controversial for me. So no, yeah. um, causes lots of problems. No, my my to... husband, he winds me up about Trump. Because he knows how much I can't stand him. So he he winds me up all the time going, yeah, he's a great bloke. He's just good for business. All he wants to do is make money. And I was like, will you shut up right now? <laughs> <laughs> he just does it on purpose. I have sold last night. This was on auction. It's a vintage Nike tracksuit top. Oh, look and that. it was my husband's and he found it in it in his old wardrobe in his old bedroom and he hadn't worn it for years oh yeah i think i remember you saying that really. yeah i had it listed for ages kept getting watches and i got a really low ball offer so i thought right i'm just going to stick it on auction it's been on auction three times loads of watches kept thinking right it's going to sell didn't so i stuck a bit more on it stuck it back on buy it now last night and it sold in the night so that's oh. good Nineteen pound, nineteen pound fifty plus postage. Yeah. And then I just sold another a pair of his. Um, he used to wear these all the time when we were first together. Do you remember these tracksuit bottoms? And they're like cotton lined. Was it like polyester lined? Oh yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. There was a time when everyone used to wear them. Yeah. Um, yeah, a pair of those. I think I can't remember how much they went for. I want to say sixteen pound. Not sure. So they've just sold. And then this was my bargain, and I really hope it gets there. It's so – I've absolutely wrapped it to death, so I'm sure it's going to be all right. I've dropped it on the floor and everything. It's um, Nigella Salt Pig. Oh, right, yeah. And I found it in a charity shop, and it was in their little clearance section for £1.24. Wow. And I've sold it for twenty four ninety nine plus four ninety nine 99 postage. I think the thing with Nigella Lawson is I don't think a lot of charity shops actually know because it doesn't it just has yeah. an M on the bottom, doesn't yes. it? It doesn't yeah. say Nigella Lawson. So a lot of charity shops I don't think really know what it is. Yes. I saw some uh, containers in my local charity shop the other day. You know the ones with the flip lids and you clip mm -hmm. them down with the metal clip round, but they were really battered. Hi Sue. Hi Sue. They were all marked and everything, and so I just left them. But, um, but yeah, I don't think charity shops actually know that no. brand. So you can be lucky, I suppose. Are you all right, Sue? I am. If this is private, no, no it's not. Not. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. You Are look you right? absolutely fine, Sue. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> I hope you've done your makeup in your hair. I have done either. Mainly, <laughs> we've got other news for you as well. What? Well, I've not got time to do stuff like that. Oh, I'm in my jimmies. Oh, well, you can't see. You can't, you can't see. see. You can just see your face, that's all, anyway. So. You can pop, pop, pop back in if you want. <laughs> yeah. Or pop back out and don't pop back in. i <laughs> have a cup of tea. This is going to be really hard doing... I don't know how Karen does it. Keep up with the chat and do post. I think it's really difficult. Just get used I to it. I might do... Um, my other my boots that I sold on my other eBay because that's easier because I can just go over here. Karen, is there any chance you can put a link in the uh, YouTube chat just in case anybody wants to come in? Because I know Louise does co comes on quite a lot on the live, so she might want to pop in. She might not, but um, you know, if anybody wants to pop in, 
Yeah, hang on. Um, I don't know how you do it, but wait a minute. Not quite minded. Um, yeah, I'm and, a bit bloodshot for some reason. Andrew's there. He might want pop in. Morning, Andrew. <laughs> uh, I've ordered. Um, I've ordered one of those uh, light boxes, Andrew. The one that. Um, I think it's the same one of you as you've got. Yeah. Right, Andrew. If you want to come in, I need your assurance that you're going to behave yourself. Otherwise, you're not one. coming in. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here we go. Oh, um, Louise is still ill. She's on the lens sip, so she might not pop in. But uh, you're very welcome to Louise if you want to. And also, I'm afraid if I don't know you, I'm not. You're not coming in either. <laughs> Just oh, yeah, because yeah, I don't know what mm -hmm. you're going to say. So. Oh, he's in work. Oh, he's work. Right, okay. oh well. Who he invites them? Get, get some work done then. You shouldn't be watching them because you're working. He's very lucky that he gets to do that because if any if if I'd ever done this in any of the places I've worked, I would have got sacked. Yeah, Andrew, it was the the um, the Amazon Basics light box. Uh, that's why I'm at home this morning actually because I'm waiting for it to be delivered. Um, they said it can be any time from now till nine o'clock tonight. So I'm going to stay at home and get some listing done until uh, my son gets up. He's not he's still not very well. He's, he's still really poorly with his chest. And then once he's up and about, I can shoot down to the office and pack my par parcels because I've got quite a few to pack. I've only got three to pack. So they've been all right, actually. They haven't been too bad. Um, mm. The first day of the glitches and that, it was terrible. They had one sale mm. all day. But then it seems to have... I've done all the ones that I, I need, that are required for us to do. Um, and so I've done a few... Um, few with the others but i seem to be making sales still so no it's been absolutely shocking mm. i mean graph's not updating anyway but even, oh, even no, real sales are rubbish, rubbish isn't it so yeah they've changed the packing i don't know if either of you two do um do your postage via ebay but they've changed the packing page i don't know why what what difference it makes it just looks different link? Um, they've like changed the top bit where it says how much the person paid and everything. Yeah, it's on the mm. left now, isn't it? Yeah, and then it used to be you'd get it on the right when you you click to pay your postage and that, and and it's got add a message and just annoying. Just stay, stay, stay. Yeah, there. and and the awaiting dispatch page that drove me crackers when that changed because you've now got a big section for each one, and it used to be just a short list, and then you could see exactly what were. The big parcel you used to just be able to print the label out straight away, but for some reason it said, "Please wait for your email with the with the label in." So mm. I had to do that. So. I just think there's too many changes happening for the system to cope with what they're doing with it. Yeah, feels like they need to turn it off and on again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm still here. I'm just photographing. So. Okay. Yeah, they need, but they, they need to turn it off and on soon, don't they? <laughs> oh, hi, Peter Ray. Peter Ray's just come in. Oh, is Andrea in as well? Andrea's hi, in. Oh, and Ads. Hi, Ads and Maria. I've not got the chat open, by the way. Just say hello to everybody. That's what I hello, mean. everybody. <laughs> Good morning, Vietnam. It's Sue, Sue, your favourite Sue. <laughs> right, please print. Very slow. Well, you're all working then. Well, just doing a few parcels. I thought I might in a bit show what I bought on Saturday. Yeah. I'm only doing about three photographs, Sue. So I've, I've already done the others. I'm just going to finish these off and then can do my listing. So. Yeah. Is Shelley not going live this morning either? It's half term, so I think that's why she's oh. not. Oh. It's not half term for hours. Ah, right. Yeah, I know. It's different in different parts. Maybe it's not then. I don't know. It is here. Mm. Yeah, I think it's different. I've got Gab's on Friday because it's an inset day. Right. Uh, 
but Phil's off all week anyway. We're over and about round here, and I went, I'm just about to go live if you want to be on it, and he's garping. Can't blame me. <laughs> Did my printer sound really noisy there? No, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, my phone's ringing. Just have a see who that is. Just disappeared. Oh, Andrea's in. Hi, Andrea. Yes. Hop in if you want, Andrea. <laughs> it's not my life. It's not my live stream light, but I'm sure Karen. Karen oh, yeah, of course, yeah. I stuck it in our in our group chat, didn't I? I'm old school still, I'm afraid. Cass said, Cass said so question, Sam, are you considering Hebu as an alternative to your unit? It is something I'm thinking about, Kath. Um I'm still on the fence with it all at the moment, so I need to get all my stock organised. Uh, I need to do a stock take and everything first, and then I'm going to reevaluate it then. Um, but for me, I think it's more of a control issue. So you can't look really things up. It's more of um, stuff being out of my control, and I had um, and in quite a few incidents last week. I had quite a lot of questions from buyers. Um, just asking questions about stock, and I didn't have if it, if it was at Herbert, I wouldn't have it here, so I couldn't really answer the questions. So hmm, that's one thing that does bother me. So, but we'll see. I'm sure that I'll let you know if I, if I decide to go ahead. I'm just gonna mute myself every time I use the seller tape because it's very loud. Come on, try it. <laughs> Very loud. That's Sue's favourite trick, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I had it inside at laptop first time I did it, and it was like, ow. <laughs> you don't realise how loud um, this is when people do this. No. Yeah. It's quite loud. Mm. Right. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is to make it easier so I can see what's happening, I'm going to sign out of my ebay and sign into my my other shop so i've done that we well, have moved everything around i can't find the uh send another item oh where is it oh there send the next item why do why i don't understand why why websites do that ebay are the worst is you get used to a system how to do something you get quick at it and then they change it. Do you know what it's like that? It's like supermarkets when you go food shopping. Yes. You just yeah. get used to where everything is and then they change it around. Oh, that is so annoying. You know why they do that? It's a marketing thing. Yes. They buy yeah. more stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't, I don't because if I go to the supermarket, I pretty much 95% stick to my shopping list. It just takes me longer. It's usually why I shop online. Get get delivered it actually works out cheaper for me because i'd have to get a taxi home anyway if i go shop food shopping i think it's cheaper anyway when you shop online isn't it because you you, you don't see things and think oh well, i'll have one of them or yeah you know so uh, I, I really need to do but i shop at like aldi and little and places like that so yeah uh, they don't do online so apparently i can't remember if it's aldi or it's little one of them are going to go into it Delivery. Oh, I think it might be little. Yeah, I know Iceland, uh, you can shop online now at Iceland, can't you? Yes, yeah, you can, yeah. Um, and apparently Amazon are doing it, aren't they? I don't know what, if they're selling everything, but Amazon are, are um, going into shopping, food shopping and stuff, groceries. So... I never shop on Amazon. I don't like its, lay I don't like its layout and that. Well, they're very rare. I, I get me, me stuff for um, work from there sometimes, you know, because uh, I know what I'm going for. I, I've kind of got it in favourite, really, and you keep going back to it, you know, from my purchase history. But uh, I don't really do Christmas shopping and stuff on Amazon. The only I'm thing is, with Amazon, girl. you've got to spend over twenty pound, haven't you, to get free delivery? Yeah. <clears throat> so you have to, if you want a few bits, it's all right. But um, if you just want one thing, 
you've got to wait till you need a few things. Yeah, and you can't see oh, really? straight away. Well, well, I'm going to dip out and uh, damp this down and okay. get me uh, packing out at loft, and I shall probably pop back on. All right then. I'll we'll see you in a bit. Okay. Bye, Bye Sue. Right, there we go. I've signed in on my other. I like to have two. Um, what do you call them? <clears throat> my brain's not working this morning. What you used to go on the internet? Two. There's a word. Someone will tell me in the chat. Two Hi, more. Ian. Morning, Ian. What's the word? Browsers. Two browsers. Oh, right. So I have Internet Explorer and I have Chrome. And then, so I've got them side by side, and that's the easiest way for me when I'm doing my parcels because I've got my shoes and bags, eBay, and then my everything else, eBay. Oh, um, right. I have Safari and um, Google Chrome. Yeah, because you've got a Mac, haven't you? Yeah. Yep, I do. I mean, uh, my husband was going to get me a MacBook for my birthday. Yeah. So to be honest, I'd rather just get a, a PC because that's what I've always worked on. Did no, you get them used to? But they are very good once yeah. you get used to working them. I mean, I've had this for years and I'm still trying to work out how to work the bloody thing, but I'm not very technical minded anyway. So, um, but yeah, I mean, I've always had iPhones, so it's sort of like it's like literally looking at your iPhone. So, mm. um, but it is different if you're not used to it. Um, I got given a, a really old Mac, but. It, we couldn't update it so my husband ended up selling it on ebay really cheap yeah it just wouldn't let you update it was too old right yeah so um i'm just adding pictures from my phone yes yeah, so i really don't like this this um this pay payment screen for your, your postage yeah I, I have an online business account with royal mail so i do everything through through that so yeah I don't think I sell enough to do that. I probably could if I started doing my covers again, which I really mm -hmm. need to do. I think, yeah, I think you'll have to sell them at a minimum of 20 parcels a week. Oh, really? I think so, yeah. See, on a good week, that does happen. But my average is one to two a day. And then, obviously, I've had seven this weekend. Mm. Um, that's difficult. Yeah, why did you change your eBay? I liked it as it was. But you've got to scroll all the way down now. It used to just That's come up at the top. Now you've got to scroll down. Agree. Confirm and pay. What I do when I'm doing my parcels, I'm sure other people do this, but I'll just say, um, is I wrap them and I just briefly put on what is in there and the weight when I've done it. And then in the morning, I can just do them all. And they've all got the weight written on, so I don't have to faff about. Yeah. That's just PayPal telling me I've paid the postage. I'm just doing item specifics on my phone for my new release. I find it easy to do it on my phone. Yeah. Mm. I have to say, I'm getting fed up of my trousers and my jeans having compression area and legs. Someone is off eBay has filled that in for me instead of just leaving a dash because a lot of them they've just left dashes, haven't they, with the new item specifics? But why put that there? That's going to make people think that they're a tight jean or trouser and that they compress your legs. Mm. <clears throat> so, I mean, half of these I'm not filling in. I'm doing I'm doing the, the the required ones and the recommended yeah. and bollocks yeah. to the rest of them. Excuse yeah. me, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fine. I'm not uh, monetized. I don't do enough YouTube. That's my problem. I do need to do more. <clears throat> well, I listed the top yesterday and I put in um, the items, the, the ones that are, uh, you you have to put in, and then I put in the recommended ones. And I listed that top yesterday um afternoon and it sold at the night time so stuff must be being seen uh, i don't know how everybody else is going on with uh with stuff i've had some people saying they're gonna 
sit there and change them all and then other people saying they're just going to wait and see if if ebay removes them but the trouble with ebay is they're quite they think what they do is the right thing and they won't very rarely would i say they go back on it yeah so i would imagine they're going to be there for a while if not forever excuse the tape not too bad Karen. it's quite far away from the mic so yeah. yes, I know I'd be much better off with a label printer, but it's just not in the budget right now. So I'm sticking with cutting and tape. Yeah. I mean, I've got um, I think I've got 22 going out today. 22, that's good. Yeah, from, yeah, but that's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So it's sort of seven a day. So it's not too bad. But I have got 1,500 listings. So. Um, I wouldn't. I couldn't be doing with um, <laughs> taping all mine on. Do no. Yeah, I think if if I do expand any more, then I will. I'm just in a bit of a. See, at the minute, if I concentrate, focus on the reselling side, the sewing side just dips, which it has now. I've run out of pretty much all of my covers. Um, yeah. I've got one lot made that I haven't listed yet. Um, so it's like dividing your time, which I did found, find easy at the beginning. But obviously, I've expanded quite a bit. I had three big hauls. And that's made me think, right, I've got to concentrate on that and leave the sewing. But I do get messages every so often, people saying, are you still doing the covers? Because they're obviously still following my eBay I think what you've um, got to do, Karen, is you've got to decide uh, where you make your most money. If you can't do both, you need to decide yeah. where you make your most money. And then it, it, if it's the case of you still want to do both, then you've got to sort of like, I would, if it was me, I would have to have designated days yeah. for doing stuff. Because yeah. I tried this with Amazon, you know, doing Amazon. And if you concentrate on one too much, the other one suffers. Mm. So eBay for me is my bread and butter. And then if I find stuff for Amazon... Um, I don't particularly go out sourcing anymore for Amazon, but if I come across stuff for Amazon, I'll pick it up and send it in. But yeah. um, for me, my loyalties, so to speak, lay, lay, lie with eBay and not, uh, not so Amazon. So when it's the, the quality items and that I pick them up cheap enough, then, you know, I, it's a good markup. But mm. with my covers, with the licensed fabrics, I think I worked it out. It's only 30-something percent profit. And yeah. with the black ones, it's like 60% profit. So, whether, I mean... Is that because is, the licensed fabric's a lot more expensive? Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, three but times. do you charge price. more for that, for those? I do charge a bit more, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's the time as well, because if I'm going to make a big batch of covers... I'll spend like the like a whole morning cutting the fabric and then a whole day and a half prepping the fabric because that takes ages. You have to um, starch all the fabric and iron yeah. it all when it's in the pieces. Otherwise, you get loads of fraying. Um, and then I'll spend a day or two piecing. Um, you have to like hem them. So I've like different processes that I have to do. Wow. So if I made a big wadge of covers, it would probably take me at least a week. I'm trying to think wow. how many covers I would make. Maybe 30 or more. I can't really remember. It's been so long since I've done a massive... And how much of your item would you sell those for then, Karen? I'm going to have to look at prices because it's been such a long time. I mean, everyone's always said to me that I'm too cheap. But you get the odd person that will say, oh, I've paid too much for a bit of fabric. But they're not considering the time it's taken me to do it. I don't really add my time into it. I mean, I've been watching that. I don't know if anyone's been watching that crafting thing on Channel 5. The prices they're charging for their handmade items is really high. So I know I don't really charge enough because I was charging, um, I think, £9 for the black ones yeah. and 11 for the for the licensed fabrics. So I know that's probably not high enough really but then how much is someone prepared to pay for a console dust cover mm. when you can buy one from china granted it does take longer to come yeah 
but you can buy one from China for less than a tenner or sometimes, you know, really cheap. Do you do personalised ones? Is that something that you could do? I did get an embroidery machine, but I couldn't, it wasn't a good enough embroidery machine to do it. You have to get a really high spec one. So um, I, the one I bought, done basic initialing, but it just wasn't good enough quality and you couldn't like line it up properly. You need proper software and everything. And that's like a really expensive, at least £3,000 wow. embroidery machine for that. God. So that just wasn't in my budget. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> So, are they like the fancy ones that they have in the, um, you know, when they do school uniforms and stuff like mm -hmm. that? Yeah, They're similar. Yeah. 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 Well, I took a pair of curtains down, bought a pair of Laura Ashley curtains the other day and got home and realised that they've cut, they pulled the top and then they've cut it off. So I can't, un oh. so they need a, a new string. Um, strip. Yeah, yeah. £25. What? £25 to have a new heading tape put on. So I'm just going to sell them as is. Right. Just, yeah. Oh, right. You can't just buy the string and string the string in. Um, I don't know whether you can or not. I have no idea. Just wondering how much the string would cost. Then you could get yourself a big, like a, a big, um, uh, large eye needle. Yeah. And just run it all the way through the header tape. Yeah, that, that actually, that's a thought, isn't it? I have actually got some big i have got got a big needle so we yeah need to that anyway so. so it might be worth seeing how much the string costs if you can mm. buy it oh, can you sure really bring them then is it something you can do that i think if you just look at how it's strung mm. and then just copy it or look at a pair of curtains you've got with the string in and just look how it's done all right i'll have a look at that yeah yeah i don't i've, I've never personally done it myself I just thought, I mean, I only paid a fiver for them, so I just thought I would sell them cheaper than what I, you know, I, I would do. I'll put fabric in the title because I know people, it's a lovely checked fabric. Yeah. And I thought it, it would be nice for covering something for somebody if they wanted to use mm -hmm. it as fabric. So I just thought, save all the hassle and the time, might as well just, as long as I make a profit, I'm not really bothered. So I got um, myself a 80s duvet on Saturday for free because it had some holes in one side so the other side is you know it's obviously a single duvet so there's enough there to make a top so mm. i'm going to wash the duvet cover and see if i can use the fabric she says that having i don't know how many <laughs> patterns i have actually bought some patterns for tops because i thought the best thing to try to doing for, for making clothes the first thing to try is a, is a basic top so it is in the plans it's just with everything you just don't have enough time yeah I think yeah. what I need to do is pr try and have a couple of weeks where I don't watch television. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you. Once I get stuck in, in the television, everything takes longer and I spend far too much time watching television. I'm a TV addict a bit. No, I'm not. I mean, I like Coronation Street and Emmerdale, but that's about it for me, really, to be mm -hmm. honest with you. And I watch sometimes at the weekends when I go to my partners, we'll, watch a, we'll start watching a new series or something like that, you know, on Netflix and stuff. Yeah. But apart from that, no, I, I, I don't really... Don't really bother. I usually just, uh, if I'm not at the office, I'm usually here working. <laughs> I sad that, isn't it, really? But, no, yeah. not really. It means that you're focused, which is a good thing. You know, I'm, I've am i always been a procrastinator and I'm easily distracted. It said it on my school report. It's a really <laughs> bad habit that I've got. <clears throat> and I'll spend ages. I mean, Sue's very similar. We had a conversation saying she's really similar. She'll look at something, like look up something, and then she'll spend ages on the internet looking at prices and researching this item and totally off what she was doing. Yeah, going a rabbit hole. Like what's uh hi Laney? Laney saying, um, did I ever think of new things to make as you were looking into it a while back? Um, I've got patterns for loads of things, um, for like kitchenware. I mean, I've got some lovely fabric with chickens on it, which would make some lovely like oven gloves and things like that. But it's the um, heat protective fleece stuff you have to buy. That's quite expensive. So I need stuff that I can just make straight away, get some money in the pot, then I can buy some of that. Because I don't have like a... I've, both both with the covers and with this reseller and I just started with not a lot of money about 50 quid so I think I, when I very first started reselling that that started with 30 pounds yeah <laughs> uh about four years ago starting yeah. about 30 quid yeah yeah it's definitely <laughs> possible when I very first started because I very first started selling like everybody does their own stuff 
Mm. Uh, but I mean, I sold on, on eBay for years, uh, like the odd bits of stuff. Uh, but then when I started thinking I wanted to do it myself, I started set. It was my mum, actually. My mum had loads of designer bags that she wanted to sell. And so I said that I would sell them for her. Mm. And so that's how it started. Then my manager at work was was selling stuff. He says, oh, I always sell stuff on eBay, like, you know what I mean? And then I found Cora and Helen. Do you remember Cora and Helen? Oh. They don't really do reselling videos much anymore. No. And then I found Nick and Andrea and Mrs. M. And then the rest is history. I just started going out buying stuff and selling it and thinking, oh, this is all right. And then when I finished to go to uni, I thought, oh, it'll be a little side income while I'm at uni. So... Well, the, the manager of the charity shop that I've started volunteering in, she asked me how I got into all of this. And I said, mm. well, basically, it started off as a hobby. Um, and then I just typed into YouTube, um, selling on eBay, and Nick came up. So I started watching his videos a bit. Then I sent him a message asking him what he thought of my covers. And he sent me a lovely message back saying they were brilliant and, you know, all that kind of thing. And then I... I sort of left it for a year, carried on doing my covers. Yeah. And then I, I I think it popped up on my, you know, stuff to watch on, on YouTube. And I started watching Nick and then I was, I saw there was a side chat. So I started going in the side chat. First person to talk to me was Peter Ray. Oh, was it? Yeah. And he was really lovely. And he said, oh yeah, I'd definitely be interested in buying the covers. And he's bought absolutely loads off me. I think he wants some more. I, you know, as yeah. I said, I've really let that slip and I know it's bad. I mean, my husband says you've lost a lot of money there, but I've I've done quite well with the reselling. So yeah. It's not like you know. I just find it. I was getting to the point where I was getting stressed doing the covers and all the messages I used to get, and like, I'm sorry to all you techie people out there and gamers, but they're very particular on what they want, and you have yeah. to give them specific measurements and. I don't know, sometimes it just got a bit, when someone messages you about 10 times saying the same thing, and it's like, yes, I understand what you're saying, yeah. and I just got really fed up. So I just wanted to have a break from it for a while. For a while. Yeah, well, and, and being a, um, your own boss, you're entitled to do that sort of yeah. thing. So, you know. I, I didn't want to fall out of love with sewing because I really enjoy sewing, and it was getting to a point where it was a chore. Yeah. And I don't want it to be a chore. No, no. Sometimes it's it's good to have a break uh, yeah. or step away, isn't it? So, but it has been like nearly a year now, so I should really should really get back to it. She says, whether she does yeah. is a different. <laughs> we'll see. Right, I need to wrap this in. Um, so I've took it out of the plastic, and I just need to wrap it in some tissue paper. We've got uh, Shelly's in the chat. Are you popping in, Shelly? Come and say hello. Oh, she? Oh, hi, Shelly. She was, she was in the chat. I don't know if she's still there, but she was. I'm sorry, I can't see anybody because uh, I'm actually on eBay um, trying to list a pair of curtains. <laughs> I've got a pair of curtains sat here. Um, I'm trying to think where they're from. They're quite nice. They were my aunties. My uncle gave them to me and said, could you make any use out of these? So I, I need to list those. I don't know what the best way is to photograph the curtains. What do you do? I flat lay them on my living room floor. Oh, I've right. got quite a big, a big area in the living room on the laminate flooring, and I just lay them out, and then I stand, <laughs> stand on the sofa and take a picture from above. Right. Wow. Um, That's the thing, isn't it? I think I did... Um... Last time I sold some, I just laid them across the bed and then stood on a stool. To take yeah, it the sort of thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think you have to go where the light is, really. So yeah. I usually just take take one from above, then I take a close up of the light because uh, the ones I'm doing at the moment are like a weaved, like a Marks and Spencer's weave. So I take a close up of the actual material, take a picture of the back because they're lined, and then I take a picture of. Um, if it's the heading tape or the uh, or ringlets, these are ringlets, so mm -hmm. I'll it. And then I take a picture of the actual label itself, so. Yeah. Oh, should I do, um, I do side by side. Will you be able to see me over there? That might be better. See me then, yeah. 
But I've got a bargain on these. I paid fifteen pound for these curtains, but they're a ninety by ninety fully lined, and they're like a brown weaved eyelet yeah. curtain. They're really really nice. So, so I'm hoping. Gonna, what do you think you'll list them for? I'm going to list them for about. I think I'm going to list them for seventy, and just right. see um, where they're at. Just because of the size of them, because there is some that have sold that are like fifty three by seventy two, um, for about forty. So I'm um, just going to aim high. I always I always aim high and then come down. Yeah. If, if I need to be. Yeah, Karen, you're a very clever lady because I can't do what you do. You can I can either talk or I can pack. I can't really do both. <laughs> Is she in the chat, Karen? Hmm? Is Karen in the chat? Hi, Karen. Hi. I think she watches this back. Oh, well, right, okay. She's on a hold, isn't she? Well, she was supposed to be going away with Thomas Cook, wasn't she? I know, yeah. Which is a shame. What well, there's an item specific here for a curtain, right? Mounting ceiling mounted, clampable, screw on, wall mounted, window frame mounted. Oh, for goodness sake, it's not, it's a bloody curtain. <laughs> have you, have you, have you, um, thought that the item specifics are very American? A lot of them, I found, especially yeah. with got the inseam. I mean, that's that's what they say in America. They don't say inside leg. They say inseam. So a lot of them are very American. <clears throat> it's my very scientific scales, which is a mixing bowl and some kitchen scales. <laughs> Oh, RJ's off. Bye. Bye, RJ. Is it Roy? Is his name Roy? I'm not quite sure. Uh, Lane's in. Lane, you're not, you're, not, you're not popping into the live, Lane. I know you, you don't mind coming into lives. The, the link's in there somewhere, I think, if you want to come in. Yeah, it should still be there. I'll pop it in again. <clears throat> Me and Lainey have had a very long conversation on the phone, but we haven't seen each other face to face, which I need to rectify because I don't live too far oh. from her. Oh, right. Okay. She's in Sunderland, obviously, and I'm in Newcastle. So it's about half an hour on the metro, maybe a little bit more. Oh, that's not too bad. Yeah, so I really need to go see her. Now that I've got my free bus and metro pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might as well make use of it. Yeah. Don't know why my chat just jumped there. Right. Uh, all right. Yeah, it's really difficult to do to multitask. I always thought I was a good multitasker, but maybe not. Have you got anything planned for today? Um. So I've got that. Uh, camera lot being picked up between 12 and 6 so when that's been picked up which I'm usually when the courier comes it's usually just after lunch so I'm hoping right. that's the case have you sold um, them on the job lot yeah <laughs> yes um cine cams um there's a super eight and two cine cams I sold as a job lot oh right okay so over three kilos of weight <clears throat> but I'm so glad I've sold them who, who are you sending that with um uh dpd all oh, right okay. no who wear the brown ups 
Oh, UPS, yeah, UPS, I send, yeah. I send anything over two kilos, I send. Yeah. I think um, DPD and UPS were very similar in price, but UPS were, uh, DPD, it was a whole day that you had to wait for them to get picked up, where you could pick morning or afternoon for the, um, for the UPS. My goodness, I've had enough sleep, you know, I've had over seven hours sleep, I don't know what's going on. Right, so that is that done. Save as draft. It'll just come out for a minute. So it's it's working okay with the listing. It's just that the item specifics are still messed up. Is that right, Sam? Oh, sorry. I didn't know you was asking me a question. What did you say, yeah. Karen? It's, so it's okay to list. It's just the item specifics are still messed up. Yeah, yeah. They're just a bit all over the place sort of thing. I'm just putting in what I can put in and just, you know, just leave it at that. And what I'll do is the new listings that I'm putting up, I'll keep having a look at the views on them because, oh, she's back. Hi. I've changed a bit. Oh, I've not even, I'm not even done mine this morning yet. I'm right, scruff. Um, <laughs> sorry, we were just talking about item specifics and new, new oh. listings. So what I'll do is I think I'll keep an eye on the new listings and see what um, what views I'm getting because like like these Marks and Spencer's curtains, what I'm listing, I've got a fair idea that I should get quite a few views on it, uh, views on them, just because they're a, they're a big size curtain and, you know, you generally can get a feel of how many views <clears throat> you should be getting. And um, I'll, I'll just keep an eye on it and just see whether or not I'm getting views. That's all you can do, really, I suppose, and if not, just keep tweaking it. Well, I've, I listed two Joseph Ribcock tops on Friday, I think it was. And one has had twice as many views as the other. Um, even, well, they're quite similar, similar tops, although one is short-sleeved and one is long-sleeved. One's got five watches and the other one hasn't got any watches at all. So, I don't know. At least they've got watches, and I've listed a cardigan as well, and that's got watches. So, Kelly, Kelly's just put in the, in the chat. Oh, you're live! It's a good job I didn't. It's a good job I didn't join. I'm just after the shower wrapped in a towel. I did. Oh, so. I know that would have been me coming on in my pajamas. I know, but it doesn't. It, it didn't say. I didn't know you was. I didn't know you was live, Karen, on YouTube. I thought it was like a private sort of. Thing. No, I, I, I said going live, as in going live. Going, going live, live, <laughs> live, live. live. Um, Kelly, you'll have to pop on when you're uh, you're presentable. <laughs> I better mute now, seeing as I've got the loudest seller tape on the planet. Yes, I. <coughs> Sam, can you fill for two seconds? Because I've got cellar tape as well. <laughs> can I what? Can you just fill while what? me and Stu both cellar tape? <laughs> fill? You know, speak. Oh, right. Fill the dead air. <laughs> what do you want me to talk about? Do, 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 do. Can you sing the can? I'll be two seconds. I might be going to a jumble sale tonight. Maybe. I don't know. Um... Did you say a jumble sale tonight? Yeah. That's strange. A nighttime jumble sale? Yes. <laughs> Never heard of one. Yeah, um, I only, well, this is the thing. I went to a jumble, jumble sale on Saturday and one of the ladies in the queue was telling me about all the jumble sales that she goes to, so I was picking her brains. <laughs> I picked her brains and I was um, finding out where all these jumble sales are. So I've got about three or four um, that she's given me. Um, oh, and what one is actually tonight, and it's about 17 miles away from me. So I'm just messaging with Be Becca now to see whether Becca wants to come um, or not. So I don't know. That's good. I'm going away, though, on Saturday. She, uh, she flies to Malaysia on Saturday, I think. So she's oh, probably yeah. up to her eyeballs in it. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going on my own. I can't be bothered. So um, my partner's working, so... Yeah. Well, I'm done, 
Sorry, Sue. Sorry, Sue. I missed a jumble sale Saturday. I've been waiting for it for months and then I got up late. <laughs> oh, did you? Was it that one that I told you about, Sue? Yeah, I've not slept all night. Uh, so when I got up at seven, I thought I can't cope. So I went back to bed and I must have pressed off instead of snooze. Oh. Uh, next thing I were waking up, it were 11 o'clock. I should have been there at 10. I thought, oh, sod it. We weren't meant to be. No, no I, I keep telling myself it must have been rubbish, but I bet it weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Not be sick. Full of old tat. Just tell yourself it was full of old tat. Yeah. Well, we like old tat though, don't we? <laughs> I've just sold these ducks. Three ninety nine, bless them. Going to a good home. That's the first starter room, but restroom attack. Um, and I've got a bag full of stuff here, look. Ugh. My daughter says yesterday, I was putting a bag out, mother, for the collection, and I forgot to put it out. She says, do you want to take it? I said, well, what's in it? She says, oh... You've got to set the job lot. You can't pick and choose. <laughs> so I says, well, is it all tat? She says, well, it might be. It might not. But you can wait in if it. <laughs> so says, all right. She says, that's the deal. And there's a load of empty cardboard boxes. So that's the deal. You've got to take all empty cardboard boxes. And you've got to take that bag. So I'm going to venture into it and see what's in it. Okay. I don't know if it's her stuff or Gabby's stuff or what. Um, I should think most of it's going to go into weighing if it's in here. It's actually worked out cheaper for me to send this Royal Mail rather than using a courier because I would have to get the courier to come and pick it up from the house. So it's actually worked out cheaper for me to send that Royal Mail, even though it's medium parcel. So it's cost six pound. Oh, nearly fell off the chair. Mm -hmm. That's my salt pig, Sue, I sold. You know that Nigella one? Do you remember oh, me showing yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, I sold oh, that. Oh, good. Oh, no, you wrapped it, haven't you? Oh, there's Heather. Good morning. Oh, no, it's not Heather, it's Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Hey. Are you all right? Yeah, a bit wet. Are you good doing? <laughs> Your hair's got that long. I thought you were Heather. <laughs> <laughs> no. Morning, everyone. You're right, Lainey. Yeah, oh, Lainey's joined us as well. Hello, Lainey. Hello. Hi, Hi Lainey. Lainey. I, I, I had to put the laptop on because um, on my phone, I can't, um, the speaker on it doesn't work properly, so I have to be on the speaker for some reason for it to work, but... We've got a top, warehouse top. I'll see if she's showing us what she got from her daughter. It might be a load of rubbish, Lainey, I don't know yet. But we've got one top with tags on, so that's that's all right. That's worth bringing it home then, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> she's massive now, Nick, she's struggling. She's oh. like, oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> How long has she got left? Uh, a due date is 4th of November. All oh, right, so it's any time now, really, isn't she? Yeah. Look here, next. New with tags and she'd put it in bag for collection. What's she like? Next, jeans. Ah, well, she knows you'd resell, so how come she's put them in a collection bag? Well, she probably thinks that she's dumping stuff on me that I don't want because I did get a load of stuff from her and Gab's didn't I bit back. And, uh, she were having a ruthless clear out yesterday and she had a bit of a meltdown. She, uh, she's, she's not good on her own, uh, Nick, never has been. And uh, Gab's had gone over to Kellum's side at family for, for weekend and he'd got football on. And I got there and I says, are you all right? She went, yeah, I've been crying. So, so what have you been crying about? So they both set off laughing. She'd ended up at the bottom of the stairs, crying because he'd got football on. So, and she went and had a clear out and put it all in her bag, you see. But they were both laughing about it. It's her hormones. She's nesting, so. Yeah, she is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Well, that's two new items in there, so that's promising. 
My sister, yeah. when she was pregnant, she used to cry at adverts all the time. Oh, she's just like that, and she's crying. I'm like that all the time, anyway. Sometimes. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I was just thinking if, that. If someone, starts, if someone starts like quivering lip on like a program or something like that, my I'm no good. Yeah, sometimes I'm all right, but if I watch out, that's a bit sad. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Do you remember Highway to Heaven? Yeah. yeah. When my parents used to watch that, I'd, they'd, I'd turn around, they'd both be blubbing. I'd be like, what are you crying at? <laughs> uh, it always gets me, and it's, even when I was a kid, you know when they uh, got stunt horses in films and they fall down and, <gasps> and they've oh. been attacked and that, like in wars and stuff? Yeah. I know they're only acting because they're stunt horses, but that gets me every time. Like when they uh, got that horse in Walking Dead. God, I was a wreck. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything to do with animals, I don't like. Yeah. No. I ended up watching a, a thing. It's funny, isn't it, what pops up on your YouTube feed? And, and I ended up watching a, uh, a guy in Spain, and he rescues dogs. Oh, I think I've seen that. Oh, I know him, yeah. Oh, Is Something Larkin, not Larkin. Uh, oh, I've forgotten his surname now. Anyway, it's really good. But how people treat him, honestly. I mean, I don't have dogs. I wouldn't have dogs, but I wouldn't want to see him mistreat, do you know what I mean? And it would go, oh, we're absolutely blubbering. And I thought, what are you watching that for? Uh, I don't watch anything that I know will set me off. On per I don't watch any, like, with any animal cruelty in. Yeah. Purposely don't, because it upsets me for days. I watched it for transformation, really. You know what they do yeah. with them? Just... I don't know if it might be the same bloke. The one I am on about, he uh, used to run a nightclub. He was really successful. Oh, went, on, went on holiday and saw all the dogs and that and um, decided to give it all up and go and buy some land. And he's, he's got so many dogs on his land that he's struggling to take care of, but he's trying his best. Yeah. Uh, I've seen him as well. Yeah, I used to um help. Well, I still do help a rescue, and um, I do like admin and things for them and stuff. And uh, it's like so sad. Some of the like the dogs are just. I'm in one way. I'm pleased I can't get there to see it because I think it would just make us worse. You know, seeing them in the shelters and stuff. But like, oh, Kath just said she's got to go and work at, at Walker Spanish Rescue Dog. Oh. Oh, she, must, she must have had one come over from Spain. Oh. Well, he flies all over and takes these dogs to people that's, you know, and he's renoming yeah. them. Around. But he showed one where there were, somebody had reported that these dogs, they were left out on a, you know, like an upstairs walled in patio. And yeah. they would chuck a bit of food out for it and then leave it out in all weathers and it would be cowering in the corner. So they kind of break into it back at garden and go and rescue these dogs. Yeah. Take them away, because they said there's no provision in Spain really. The the laws they've only ever prosecuted one and been successful. Hmm. Um, he said because the laws are rubbish. Yeah, unfortunately, um, it seems they don't. They, there's not. A, we're a nation of nation of dog lovers, aren't we? Animal yeah. lovers. We're yeah. renowned for it. So when we go abroad and see some of the states over there. And hear about it it's alarming but um i mean there's still dog lovers over in spain obviously people yeah. who absolutely spoil them it's just the bad press it gets sometimes i suppose uh, my, my local rescue has a lot from romania romanian street dogs i ended up feeding cats in skiathos and phil were like he doesn't need any chicken and we got to rotisserie chicken place down on in arbor and I'd have a handbag full when we went back to. It's <laughs> like my mum, Sue. That's what she does. <laughs> oh God, I bet I bet it'd be loved you. Yeah, well, it would do it sign up. Don't feed cats. So I'd, I'd go down at about eleven o'clock yeah. at night. And go down into Rock River and feed cats. There's loads of them in Spain, though, isn't there? I'm so like, skinny. Um, when we go, they're just everywhere. Right, I've got a serious question eBay question. Oh. Right. Um, I'm going to try and get some listings done this week. I've obviously stayed off it last week, but I can't hold it off any longer. I normally use templates. Would I be better off making a set of new templates and doing it that way? 
I would, yeah. yeah. Because um, they might not work, don't you know what I mean? If they are well, to that to change. You got? I don't know. Mm. Modify ones that I've got. Yeah. Just try and modify the ones you've got. Yeah, I didn't know if it'd bring up all the new new specs. Try going in one and see if they're in there. Yeah. 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 I need to cut my fringe. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see you. Ooh. I'll do that in a bit then. Your fringe will shrink up as it dries, won't it? Well, I made that mistake last time, didn't I? I cut it when it was wet and it ended up up here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need mine cutting. Seriously. What's everyone in the chat doing? They're just listening and listening. Uh, chat doctor says, um, my mum and sister used to cry at Noel Edmonds' Christmas presents back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crying. My dad laughs at, um, like, X Factor. And... and um, Britain's got talent. You turn if someone sings really well, you turn around and he's blubbing. He's, um, oh. he it hilarious. I'm like, oh, you know, he's getting old. Getting old, how old is he? Oh, uh, seventy. Uh -huh. See later. What on earth is this? Dear me. <laughs> my pet my dad was in the army and my mum had a really good job, so they waited till they were 30 before they had me. Ah. I've left my last thing, my last thing is the thing I'm not looking forward to packing. I've left it till last. Is it China? No, it's the big wool coat. Oh, easy peasy. Yeah, just whack it in a bag, you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. She's got fairy leopard skin. Why, what, what's the problem with it? I wonder if she didn't want me to see these. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Bet Lynch dressing gown, so. <laughs> leopard print. What's the problem with wrapping the coat, Karen? Well, I'm just not sure of the postage. That's why I've been. Although I've charged seven fifty postage, I'll model it because it fits me. That's nice. They're all on trend, aren't they, them? Uh, no, that no. that chevron type, dog toothy type thing. Yeah. So it doesn't quite, well, it just about does up. Well, do you want to just take to Hermes, Karen? Um, yeah, I could do. I'll see what the options are, see what the price is. <coughs> we we can't even watch X Factor in our house, uh, Andrea. Barry, Barry won't have it on the tally. I used to watch it religiously, but I'm yeah. not. I'm into it strictly now. Darren well, makes what? me laugh if I'm watching them bake off. <clears throat> he'll say, I'll, I'll, like, when it's getting towards his bedtime, he'll say, I'll stick what you want on because I'll probably fall asleep. And I'll put bake off on, and then he starts watching it and starts moaning. It's like, you said you were going to go to sleep. <laughs> See, Barry loves bake off, he records it. Really? Yeah, and I don't really watch it. He's he's right, right into it. I think he just likes cakes. <laughs> <laughs> just for what you know about, I'm just doing shoes now. I'm just listing shoes, and it looks like they've took the EAN number off the listing all right. altogether. I can't well, find it. How it used to be? It's not there. You know when it used to be under you, your condition. You put your condition in, and then the EAN used to be over the top, didn't it? Yeah. yeah, it's gone. It's not theirs. They've actually removed it by the looks of it. So fingers crossed that might make it a bit easier. Because yesterday, um, when he was putting in NA, NA and then hitting save, he was taking all your other um, item specific out that you'd already put in. So they've actually took the EAN number out now. So I was listing some of the antique other day, and it wanted the EAN number. <laughs> Stuffed, isn't it? You're not going to back up? You mean you've not got a back up for that sake? No, I'm not. Really? Call yourself a reseller. <laughs> <laughs> Louise says she likes The Apprentice. Do you? Do any of you watch that? Oh, not, not the last few years. I, was, I thought it was starting to get silly. 
I'll stop watching it. I like it for the comical value because they're so yeah. thick, some of them sometimes. <laughs> totally agree with that. Like, yeah, you just wonder how on earth they get by. It's supposed to be really clever, but like, yeah. they have no common sense. It shows you how I've changed from my age. When the Apprentice first started, I used to watch it thinking, I could do that. I could <laughs> put that out. I could be better than him. And now I'm like, oh no, driving out in dark's bad enough. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I just hope the person that bought this knows that it's, it smells vintage. <laughs> Do you put in the list that it smells vintage? <laughs> it's vintage. Be they know it's vintage. If they buy vintage, they must know the vintage smell. Well, it's the smell of softness. It's because it's wool, isn't it? Dear me. Don't you make your room smell, Karen? Pardon? Doesn't it make your room smell? I've had a, like a plastic sheet over it. Uh, I did steam it when I first got it, but I think that made it worse. <coughs> it's smelling a bit vintage in there now. All, all antique and vintage pots and wood. Are you and coming on, Shelley? Oh, there's Shell. Hi, Shelley. Hi. Didn't see you there. Yeah. You're all right. Oh, cuppa. You could have brought a cuppa for us all. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I need warming up. I stood outside this morning um, seeing off Maud and my friend's little girl as well. And uh, like they said, oh, get there between quarter past eight and half eight. But the, the coach didn't actually leave till ten. Oh, um, and I feel the cold. So I was like, <laughs> I'm warming up. Sorry, just shut it in the window. I'm a bit cold now. Keep going hot and then blooming cold. <laughs> All right, Lainey. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Good. So I'll say hello and the flesh. We have to sort my life. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I sort of regularly have to do that. <laughs> sort my life out. Doesn't work. I keep doing myself a list and then, like, start a new one. <laughs> Maybe do one or two things on it and then I start a new one. A new, a new listing? No, like new lists of things I need to sort in my life. Oh, yeah. It, it lists of, I like lists. I Somebody was saying, it might have been Sylvia Tough Humans. Yeah, she was saying don't use lists because she has her massive, does anybody follow her on Insta? Yeah. Yeah, her, yeah, her massive action plan. And she said you shouldn't do lists because she was added like a never ending list because she'd never complete it or something. But yeah. Oh, it's so lists are very satisfying. I yeah. I like a list. I like that ticking off because I'm very task oriented and I need to. Yes, yeah, yeah check. Like I've that. done something today. You know, it's satisfying if you write it down once you've finished and you go, "I did that." <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, never do it. I never do it, but when I occasionally when I do a do do a list and I tick it off, I'll get a, a, you get some kind of pleasure. Don't you? I'm thinking I've done everything on there today. Yeah. We've achieved, didn't you? I, I need that. Yeah. We've got um, time of your life's popped in, and they said, I don't know if they're male or female, says, Hi, ladies. I don't know how I've got here. I was just watching Mr. Buckaroonie live. Okay. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Welcome. I don't know if Mr. Buckaroonie is. I don't know got here because I've got it so that it only, my live only appears to subscribers. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. Is it something to do with that? Could be. Yes, I haven't worked it out yet, StreamYard. And there's a delay, isn't there, between live and... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, there's something not right there. And also, I don't know how you, if you have a troll, you can't do it through StreamYard, can you? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, well. I, want, I want a cuppa so I'm going to go and go and go and make one I'll be back in a okay. minute All right. Shelley set me off I'm thinking yeah I need some caffeine <laughs> right see you in a minute hello Andrea Sells and um, who else have we got new in no I said hello to Bex Fire didn't I there was someone else Sue Erin hi, hi Sue Erin hi Louise um 
Can you put oh. little things with those? Can that go in the machine? No, because it's got a musical thing in it. But it's not a... Will it cock the musicalness up? Does that work? Yeah, because it'll be, it'll be like a, one of them little metal ones with the ting, ting, ping things on it, won't it? So oh, that's again, God. Sam, with the what? With the ting, ting, ping, ping thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid you might say that. Because that means I have to sponge it or something, doesn't it? You have to do a bit of work, Shelley. You can't just wath it in the washing machine. I just, well, yeah. I, do, I do whack everything in the washing machine or the dishwasher. Yeah. And if it doesn't survive, I go, well, it wasn't meant to be. Oh, did you pay for it? Just chuck it in washer and see what happens. I didn't pay anything for it. What's the it's worst really that can happen? If it were a ding dong, ding dong, you'd be all right. But a ting, ting, ping, ping, you're buggered. You put it in the washer and it doesn't. I think I might put it in when it comes out. It's broke. I usually just think, well, I'm not going to bring it up for my, like, I'll put him in. If it, if, it did, if it didn't work, could you not just cut the string bit off and then have it just as a toy? Or would that not work? Uh, I think he'd have a hole in his bum. He'd have a hole in his, in his he'd have a butthole. Uh. Well, don't rabbits usually have those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's anatomically correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I might wash that. Okay. I can't get and he's got a bit of a grubby yeah, under there. I don't know what's going on there. Going I've got something Sue might know about actually. Oh dear. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if this is an alright pickup or not. It was three pounds. It's um like plastic Meccano. Oh, and it's no. got um uh, what is it? It's got fire and rescue on some of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, fire and rescue. If all of the bits are in for these, I suppose. Do you do plastic Meccano? No, I've not sold any of that before. Uh, it looks because it looks very like Claymobil, and I thought, yeah. yeah, it's got a lot actually, it's got a lot of um, yeah, like, doodles in it. Instructions, you are right, that especially this time of year, yeah, yeah. Um, I think well, I'm not going to lose money on three quid. No, um, it's really uh, we up the other day a great big in fact I've, no i've almost got downstairs now but it's a great big massive builder set and i think somebody's got it listed brand new on amazon for 200 and odd pounds and i paid 10 for it. so i've just put it on for 80 quid wow so brilliant um, that's all right i'm absolutely gobsmacked that somebody would pay 80 quid for that but <laughs> great your best offer so but it's the time of year isn't it to for really what set is it at brio the wooden. Oh, brio, yeah. Oh, yeah, we will pay for that. Yeah, people will pay for brio, yeah. It's the, uh, it's not the train set, though. It's the builder set, but I did sell. Mm. It's weird because I've never never found brio for ages. And then last week I found uh, a set new in box, like a little train. And then the other day in the charity shop, I found this great big box of, um, it's like um, builder sets. You know, you can build... Um, Tractors and stuff like that. It's not trained that it's like you can build the tractors, so it's actually oh, a yeah. build set. So, yeah. So, I'll just put it up for 80 and we'll just see. I'll take yeah. it. I paid well, the 10, so, you know, I'd be happy to take anything over 60. If it's a big set as well, then. Yeah, I've, I've I'll leave it all out on the table. Yeah. I've, yeah, I don't. Hmm. I wonder if I ought to do some making up of these. Meccano things. Just lay it all out on the table, all the parts. That's what I was thinking, but actually, alternatively, I might give it to my friend's boy down the road to make it up. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Well, him and his dad, because they might like doing that. Mind you, you might then want to keep it. That's oh, they might, want, they might want paying for it. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little I warning for anyone doing their parcels. I couldn't I couldn't do a pack link um, pack label for that coat, so I'm going to have to do it royal mail did you try refreshing like you know yeah. you get a download label button come up yeah you didn't no, get it, it, download label i couldn't even get that far it kept saying problem with paypal payment and put your right, card I in. Had that the other day it won't accept my paypal not access what's it called that paypal card yeah it won't it used to but it no longer accepts my paypal card and i have to pay directly through paypal and then it accepts it because I thought, yeah, well, oh, I'm not going to be able to send any of my parcels. And when I changed to just paying directly through PayPal, it was fine. Did all of them. 
Yeah, that's what I've got on PayPal. Um, and it wouldn't it wouldn't let me pay via PayPal. It kept saying put a card in. So Oh, I've got the opposite. Because oh. I want my card to collect the points. And the only thing I can use it for now is if I'm out or for fees I can use it. But it won't let me buy anything off of eBay with it. And now it won't let me pay for postage either. That's and I've good. contacted PayPal a couple of times and they I never get a call back, they're absolutely useless. Well, thank Hello. you for your life anyway, <laughs> coming in. Right, it's let me do that, so I'll just I'll just do it as Royal Mail. My office is such a mess. I've just been dumping stuff in here. I've got to sort all that out. Look, oh, I don't know if you have to see it. All stuff you've got. Yeah, it's just been used as a dumping ground. Oh wow! Where do these, where do the big tubs usually live? Down the shed. Yeah. One, one's got listed stuff in. One's got my haul in from yesterday, and one's got a load of shoes in. So I've just got like a little walkway in, and then everything over there is just chaos. Yeah, I had a big sort out here last week so it's not too bad yeah. you're not doing your life as well shall you're not going to do yeah, it yeah i'll do it in a bit because right. i've got i think i've got i think it was 19 i've got 19 going out um but i was all a bit I didn't realise how long I'd be at the school for this morning. Yeah. So um, I've got it picked, I think. Uh, yeah, so I'll do that in a bit. I've got to wait in for, a par for parcels as well, so. I hate that waiting in. I know, and I thought, oh, it'll just be Monday and then I can go out sourcing tomorrow, but then Connie's ordered a new phone. And so I'm not going to wait in tomorrow for that. So I've got brilliant. Yeah, I'm normally at home. But you know, if I, if I think I've got to stay at home because somebody's coming, you know how they say, oh, we'll be there between 12 and 6. Yeah. I'm not gagging to go out to Tesco yeah. anywhere. <laughs> it, it's like a response. But if, yeah. if nobody's meant to be coming, then I don't mind staying at home at all. It's my favourite place, home. I think you just oh. can't function when you're talking. You don't want to start anything or yeah. eat lost or whatever. Well, ladies, I'm off to a car boot. Uh, uh, car boot. Um, God, get your words out there. Jumble there this afternoon. You've um, got one well, this afternoon. Yeah. You've got two no, today. No, just one. Oh, I thought you said you were going to one tonight. Well, it's, it's, it's late this afternoon, yeah. Oh, are you like me? Any, anything after three is, is evening. <laughs> right, it's evening, yeah. <laughs> that excited, actually. That's because you're looking at John's crap. What was that? I only heard crap. John's crack, crack of dawn, that's when you're up, isn't it? Oh, me, yeah. 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 There's only one six o'clock in there, turn out. <laughs> Do you normally get a lot from your jumble, Sam? Well, I went to one on Saturday uh, and I made myself drive. Um, don't use the drive. I don't know where I'm going from. I'm pretty terrible. Uh, and this one was um, in a motorway that I've, I've only ever drove on once or twice before. But I made myself go. The jumble itself was crap. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. But I was so pleased that I actually researched myself to drive the hills of Manchester. So we had to go down these Lancashire roads. And then I had to get onto the M62. And I had to get onto another 
small motorway and then onto the air yard. So um, I got lost three times, but I, I actually got there in one piece. I got home too. So well done, Sam, because that would do my head in that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I won't go where I don't know or yeah. go very far. I was really, really so pleased with myself that I actually made myself do that because I thought doing what I do, you need to diversify. You need to be able to, if you need to travel to go places like jumbles and car boots and stuff, yeah. you be able to, you know, get your butt into gear and drive there, don't you? Really can't rely on somebody else to, to take you all the time. So, um, yeah. But, so what uh, was, were you looking at clothes at the jumble? Were you looking at bric a brac or everything? Or? Look, I, I was looking at one table with about five, Brick a brack items on oh. a table with about twenty plush stuffed toys, and that was it. And then clothing mm. was like I wouldn't put it one way. I wanted to get cash for clothes. It was that bad. Oh Jesus, that's disappointing. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the one we went to. So yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> but this one I'm going to later should be fingers crossed a good one. Um, I'm going with Becca. Um, Beck has been to that one before and she said they queue early for it so um, so that's a good sign so yeah so I need to get my butt into gear I'll have to go now because I've got 20 odd parcels to pack yet so I need to go and do those but look this is a first for me what two bags for the post office <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll let you. If I, if I get a, if I get a good call, I might I might come on tonight and do a bit of a live, and yeah, uh, and show you what I've got. So I've it's, had um, two two jumbles this year, and God, I absolutely loved them. Um, Real out there. Yeah, Thank so you. I went early and did like was in the queue with the regulars. Um, but the, at the same church, there's one this Saturday, but it's run by the church, not by, like, the other ones were run by Cats Protection, Cats Protection shops. So it's stuff that hasn't sold in their shops. So there was loads of it. Um, and it did really, really well. But the um, this one's just by the church, so I've got a feeling it won't be as good. But you've got, you know, you have to try it, don't you? And I, so I'll still go and stand in the cold for half an hour and chat to God knows who on the off chance because I was uh, on the one I went to a couple of weeks ago I was like planning in my head right I want to go to the jewellery this time because the women's uh, clothing is just you know like the sharpened elbows it was mental last time and I thought I'm not even getting involved with that I'll wait till they finished and then I'll have a look um, so I ran into the jewellery and I was like oh great I was able to ask the price and then I you know was able to get a big pot and I just and then people, there were people trying to push from behind me, trying to get in. And I just thought, no, I'm here. I'm not moving. <laughs> so, and I got loads. It was absolutely brilliant. So wow. hopefully yours will be as good as that. Well, I mean, although I didn't get anything in this jumble that I went to on Saturday, the lady, the lady that I got friendly with that I spoke to in the queue told me about this one tonight. So, you know, if I got here tonight and it was, it's a good jumble, then it was worth going. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah sort of thing she actually shoot me phone number and she's just said if i find any more in manchester i'll text you oh, oh that's <laughs> nice she did say halfway through chatting to her though she said, oh she says there's usually vultures that you're all dealers and i thought oh my god <laughs> yeah and i thought oh no yeah so, the one i was chatting to i thought oh how much do i give away i, I won't give away much but then it you know, she was giving little bits of information away, and then it turned out that she was looking to buy some stuff for resale, but she's just got back into it, and she used to do eBay, and so then I was like, right, I'm fine to talk then. But it was like, should I ask her what she's heading to, or is that like, because you're like kind of in competition, would she want to yeah. tell me? But she's like, oh, I'm heading for men's. So I said, oh, I used to head for men's, but like, this time I'm going for this. <laughs> As we were going in, I sort of said, oh, good luck then. But she was already gone on a mission. She'd gone. <laughs> oh, bye. Yeah, I didn't see, I didn't see the, uh, the the lady when I got in there. I just, whoop, just went. Yeah. Yeah, like a little flash. Yeah. Yeah. Well, last time it was so rough where the women's clothing was. A woman took pity on me and, like, looked at me. And she said, come here, I'll get you in. And, like, got me in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Terrible, aren't they? Uh, the trouble that we go to, me and Becca, at our local hospice charity, that's like that. But 
but the tables are like get so high with like yeah, it was mountains and you literally me and becca just go in like that and we just move ourselves along the row you know yeah. like and if you say to somebody, oh, do you want to swap? You've got to be really careful because someone will get in and then you're you're out again. I know, isn't it? That's and the clothes. clothes. Yeah, the clothes. It was like um, a sea. Like they would go up and down. Like it would be yeah. moving where people are like tossing stuff. Yeah. It was, it was, And then there were some ladies like, you know, behind the tables taking the money and they'd have to keep saying, right, we're going to push back again because the tables were getting, they were getting squashed in and they'd have to keep yeah. pushing the tables back. Oh, was, goodness sake. It was like a real eye opener to me. Yes. That yeah. sounds like my worst nightmare, not a jungle. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I can't yeah. Have to Such a pair of irregular choices, 50p last time we went to that one. Hmm. Um, so. uh, yeah, it was... It, thing is i got a good spot at the jewelry and i got the jewelry for 20 pence a piece yeah like whatever it was bangle necklace anything and i just i was in my element so i got 26 pairs of clip-on earrings yesterday off the car boot for mandy who i go sorting with because i don't really do jewelry for three quid oh so, that's nice 26 per i have no idea <laughs> they were just in a box i said how much and she said oh 30 pence each. I just said, how much for the lot? She said, three pounds. So I just said, give me the lot. And just give them to Mandy for three quid. You know, she's not going to lose money on that. So. Mm. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be right up for that. Oh, right. I've just got to make a brew. That'll be a minute. Me too. I think we're probably going to end this anyway, aren't we? So Shelley can go on. Do you reckon? Well, I'll just go on whenever because I'm, I'm in for parcels. So, but I might go and get on with some stuff anyway. Right. If if you're still on, it's up to you. I don't know. <laughs> Does anyone want to stay on or shall we go now? And, and um, I wait. think I'm going to go. Get me yeah. Back. I can't multitask very well and my Rington's man's just turned up. So okay. I'll see you later. All see you right, later, Zoom. See you later. Bye, Bye. chat. Shall we call yeah. it a day then and let um, Shelley do her live? Yeah, yeah, we'll do that then. Thanks everyone for joining me. That was great. And I got all my parcels done, so that's good. Fab. Well done. Uh, you going so live? Have a good day, everybody. Yeah, I'll go live. Yep. Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.